congratulations on the film, ladies. Uh, first and foremost, I gotta say, time travel stories are so fascinating because everybody kind of wishes that they can redo a decision they made in their life. Yeah. Um, so I have to ask, what inspired the story? Was there anything maybe that happened personally or what inspired the story to get Silencio uh, made for the screen? Well, the, the, there were two things. I mean, um, I thought the concept about the actual place, the zone of silence that I hadn't heard before, and um, that was so interesting. I, I thought that was um, an interesting concept to have to, inside a film. But then also, I think it's it's a universal topic about um, what would you do differently, you know, if you if you were presented with a choice or don't all of us have a loved one that we've lost and we would love a second chance, no, that, or more time sure. with them. Uh, so so I think that's a universal the universe universality of it is what attracted to me and say, oh, what if this happens, no? So it's. It was interesting. <laughs> now, for your character, Anna is kind of like the good that can come out of messing with a timeline. Um, how did you relate to Anna? Um, actually, we're very different. She is a psychiatrist, uh, a, you know, a highly respected psychiatrist with a kid. I am an actress with no kids. Um, <laughs> So it, for me, it was it was uh, the, the only way that I could, I could relate to Anna was to fight for something, for someone in this case that you love. I mean, I had to uh, dig deep in there and just find, you know, find that connection um, with Anna. And I just basically really trusted my instincts, I think. And with Lorena's help, and obviously Lorena helped me a lot, you know, with um, just this relationship with the kid that I had to have. And, and I do love kids, so that was, that was, uh, that was easy for me. So uh, most sci-fi stories are kind of cautionary tales for um, just to be perceived to the mass population. But this story is really a story I felt about like the love of a family at, at its core. So if you kind of had uh, to have audience take something away from this, what would that message be? Wow. Do you want to answer that first? Well, well I think, it's a, I think it's, it's a really good question. What stays with you is a question. How far are you willing to sure. go to save someone you love? You know, I mean, it's yeah. it's what stays with you. Absolutely. And and um, and I think that's powerful. And mm -hmm. also, like it's such it, as you as you were saying, it's it's obviously it's a universal story because you it's 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 how long you know how far would you go for someone that you love, but also the film as a whole is a mix of. Drama, genre, sci-fi, thriller. Mm -hmm. It's a, it's like a big cocktail. It is. Uh, and so I just think that, yeah, just people. I, I, I hope that people will come out of this movie and think, oh my god, what just happened? Mm -hmm. What did I just see? And then, and then like try to try to figure out what it was about. What ha you know how the stone works because that's, that's it stays with of, you and it makes yeah. you question and think and discuss. Afterwards. Even today, as we were sitting in there waiting, I, I we were just still discussing kind of like the end of the film because I'm still mm -hmm. discussing the end right because it's it does stay with yeah, you and I, I was just thinking about it like all night. But mm -hmm. if you did have this stone, and now that you know and knowing that you would be able to sat, kind of have to sacrifice something to change something. Would you do it now doing this movie and kind of doing the research through all this stuff? Well, it's tricky now. If it works exactly as it's supposed to work and as we presented in the film, it's tricky because you have to sacrifice another life. Right. So that's a big thing. Uh, but then when, when there's, for example, the love of a mother, the love of a child, you know, I think you would do anything. Of course for the love of your, of your child. So you definitely sacrifice yourself for your but, kid. But, that's no question. Absolutely. But that's the, the, the intrigue that, I mean, that's personally, but then that doesn't mean that in the story, that, that happens. <laughs> yeah.